Well, hello guys. Uh, welcome back to yet again another YouTube video. Uh, today we are checking out rendering uh, in Bricklink Studio. Uh, if you don't know what Studio is, it is a Lego building software. I absolutely love it. Uh, I went through some of the basics um, and a bit of a beginner tutorial on it in my last video. So go and check that out if you are keen for that. But in this video, we are checking out rendering awesome Lego images. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so we've loaded up Bricklink Studio. Um, if you are new to the program, I did a kind of brief overview of the basics in the last video, so you can go and check that out if you are new to this software. But in this video, we're gonna be checking out the render tool and how you can render your own Lego images. So we're gonna click render up in this top menu um, and you'll be brought to this screen here. So on the left here, we have basically the photo um, we'll be taking and the render we'll be doing. Um, and we can position this however we like. Um, as you can see, um, you can rotate it, uh, pan and zoom, um, same controls as Bricklink Studio. Um, and then, yeah, you can basically position it exactly how you want your photo to look. So I'll get it uh, how I want it to look, as you can see. Um, and then below here, you can change the size and quality, basically. Um, so I'm going to leave it in 4.3, um, but as you can see, it's on one of the lower um, qualities or settings here. Um, and I don't like to do the super high one because it'll take way too long to render. Um, so I do somewhere in the middle. I'm going to choose uh, 20, 1024 by 768 here. Um, and this won't take too long to render, um, but it will still produce a high quality image. Um, then on the right, uh, we can see a few different menus, uh, photo reel, POV ray and animation. Now we'll be doing a photo reel in this video. Um, you can see the render quality under here. Um, I use a medium. Uh, you don't really need to do anything higher than medium. Um, unless you do want to zoom in, um, it will be a little bit blurry, but it's still not bad. Um, under here we have background and light. Again, these are some really good settings, but I kind of leave it as it is because Again, it just produces really good quality images without me doing anything. So you can change the light uh, or the background color um, here if you do wish to. Um, but yeah, I like it um, just with that white background and the building uh, light uh, will be fine. Um, and then left front, basically that's where the light's coming from. I'll keep it as left front and that's fine. Now, moving down to camera setup, that's basically what you just did before by positioning it. So you can actually change the positions through uh, this camera setup here, um, or you can just do it manually. And moving down further, we have material effects. Now, um, here you can change the UV and scratches and stuff, which is pretty cool, um, but I haven't really used these uh, settings here either. So once you have all the settings uh, that you are happy with, um, you can export the image as a render. Now, uh, down the bottom, we have the format setting, um, and here you can change basically what it exports as. Um, you can change this to PNG, JPEG, whatever you want that to be um, and then you want to go ahead and click this blue button which is render um, here you can save it to wherever you like change the name and all those things now when exporting it you'll see this little pop-up uh, and then it will actually take you to uh, the export page um, this is called eyesight renderer um, and yeah you'll notice a few things here um, you've got uh, yeah a few things across the top um, but the one thing I mainly look at is the top right and that is the progress of the render um, there's also estimated time remaining but that can uh, change and not be completely correct um, but yeah you've got the progress up there um, and then of course below you can see kind of how much is rendered uh, and then yeah go away wait for this to render and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what the final render looks like. So here is the final render, guys, um, and that is how you do rendering uh, on Bricklink Studio. Um, the final image looks pretty nice, um, and the quality is not bad at all. So that is what the final render will look like um, of most builds. Now, one other thing I do want to show you guys is uh, the Q. Um, I'll, I'll just show you POV Ray as well. You can see a few settings in here. Um, I've actually never used that. Um, but then animation uh, is 
pretty similar to photo reel um, but you can do an animation of it either building or spinning or something like that but again I'm not going to do this because this takes days and days to render then you can also see uh, Q and I'll show you guys how to use the Q um, basically you press the add to Q button down here uh, and then yeah basically things will queue up in here um, this will uh, consist of either animations or photo reel or whatever uh, and then yeah you can press render queue at the bottom there um, and it will basically go through the queue so you can leave it um, uh, for a while and it will automatically do that for you um, so that is queuing well guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video uh, that is it for this one um, I hope you learnt uh, a bit about rendering images through Bricklink Studio um, if you do want to check out uh, the basics of Bricklink Studio I did a video on that previously um, but if you don't want to miss the next one make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it I'll catch you guys in the next one